Welcome back, everyone, to a brand new character in the Binding of Isaac BD1P modded series. This is Zack, the character made for gamblers like me. They have a very unique mechanic of, of poker chips and rolling dice that I want to show off here very shortly. But before we start showing off the unique character and all of that, your question for today is going to be, put your answer in the comments down below. What do you think about the Will Smith Oscar incident where Will Smith smacked the ever living hell out of Chris Rock. Anyways, seed is going to be DB81SLJ8. So to give a quick kind of character rundown here, Zach is made, as I said, for gamblers. Uh, in our bottom right, we have a pocket item called Snake Eyes. And what Snake Eyes does is when you get a poker chip like that, you can pop Snake Eyes and you'll get either a, a good payout or a bad payout, depending on your luck stat and however many poker chips you use to get to that point. For example, if I pop it now, I'm going to get a very bad reward. A tears down, a very, very bad reward. But if I save a lot of chips up, I can actually uh, pop it and get either damage up, tears up, cards, runes, status effects, uh, items, anything like that. The rewards are, are very plentiful, but the drawbacks are also pretty plentiful as well. Just a very simple gambling-esque character that I am very happy to play on this trip. Also, they have custom unlocks, 10 plus unlocks to be exact. Anyways, though, for our question for today, um, I'm going to say it. 100% Will was in the right to slap Chris Rock. I think that was 100% justified in that situation. For a quick rundown for my non-Oscar uh, watching fans, or anyone, just, I guess, just not... Ooh, that's good. Uh, not American... Um, at the, the Film Award Festival last night, uh, Chris Rock was doing some stand-up comedy before announcing the, um, winner of a documentary award. And in this comedy, he made a joke about Will Smith's wife, Will, Will Smith's wife, uh, Jada, and how she is essentially bald. Now, the reason being is that she has a disease that pretty much just makes her hair fall out, and she kind of has to be bald or shaved. Now, she has been very vocal the past couple years on social media about her struggles with this disease and how it affects her and how it's, it's a very uh, hard thing to live with. And Chris Rock made a joke kind of making fun of that disease and her uh, appearance with it, calling her G.I. Jada, like G.I. Joe, shaved head, looking kind of like a military lady. That was his kind of joke. And it really did not go over well with, I'm going to die. This room fucking blows, dude. Okay. Be careful. No fire shots? Okay, we're cool. We'll get a full health back here. Uh, and when this joke was told, the, the audience was laughing. And, but except for Jada. Jada was kind of like cringing at the joke. That was uncomfortable. That was kind of rude. She wasn't really having a good time with it. I'm going to actually buy some chips for two coins right now. Get them stacked up a little bit, huh? Perfect. And uh, when Will saw that his wife was kind of upset, Will gets out of his chair, walks on stage, slaps the ever-living shit out of Chris Rock and sits back down and yells, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. And the audience is like, they thought, they thought it was a joke. They were kind of laughing a little bit, like, is that a joke or what's going on? And then Chris kind of like, all right, all right, I, I got you, I understand. Then Will yells again, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. And everybody just kind of goes quiet. Like when a, when a quiet kid in class like talks up, everyone just shuts the fuck up. And it gets really awkward from then on out. Now here's the thing. I believe you should be able to make jokes about whatever the hell you want. I think that jokes and humor is a great way to express yourself, but just because you can make those jokes does not make you immune to those consequences. And to make fun of somebody, or somebody's wife even, uh, and about a thing they are very, very uh, sensitive about is pretty, uh, in what's the word, insensitive. And I think that that will warrant a response and you better expect that. You can joke about whatever the hell, you can make jokes about whatever you want. I, like, 9-11, like, somebody dying, who, who gives a shit, right? It's just a fucking joke. But you are liable for those those uh, reactions as well. It's not like a, a, a you know, free, freedom of speech does not allow you to say anything you want and get away with it. It just allows you to say whatever you want. So while Chris Rock was just making, yes, a joke, it was a joke directed at somebody who had a disease they were not happy about having, which is, putting it in that light, a little bit insensitive, and... Maybe you shouldn't assault the guy for that by slapping him, but you know what? Heat of the moment, I understand that stuff happens. You can say some dumb shit or do some dumb shit in the heat of the moment. So you know what? Will was entirely justified there, and Chris Rock was being an asshole. Now, there are there is no bad blood like 
they're cool. They're, they're posted on social media. They're all fine. It's just, just, again, a spur of the moment kind of deal. But it, it's kind of hard to think of anybody defending Chris Rock in this situation. Because, again, make whatever joke you want, but also expect that kind of response. I'm not going to go back. We're just going to fight the boss right now. But expect that kind of response. Um, like, was the joke really that bad? I can't say, because it was not made about me or about a thing that I have, so I really can't say. Uh, but if if someone was, like, made a joke about my girlfriend having, or, like, having to be bald, I would be kind of pissed off. I probably, I wouldn't slap somebody. I'm a 140-pound skinny-ass white kid, but I would be pretty pissed off. I'd, I'd definitely cause some shit about that, uh, or raise some hell about that, because it's someone that I care about, and I want to defend and protect. So, yeah, I think that Will did what he had to do there, and I respect it, honestly. I do. Now, again, you're going to have those people saying, like, well, it's just a joke, or that was kind of an overreaction, and sure, I think it was a bit of an overreaction to slap somebody on, on public television at a big event, but it's also kind of uh, weird to make fun of somebody's appearance on live television at a very populated event. He may be a comedian, but he's not a very good one all the time. Why are we... We have no damage. We have no tears. I am struggling here, man. Okay. Just, just play it cool. Play it cool. 2.5 tears and 3.2 damage. Not where you want to be on a run like this. We should be fine. I, I kind of want to go for max poker chips. I don't want to pop it yet. But I feel like I may have to. Tears up is also not that bad. I like having it. Let's go back and grab our half heart. If we get hit one more time, we'll have to pop the uh, the snake, guys. All right. That's not a heart. It's a battery, you fucking idiot. Go down here. Beautiful. What was this pill, do you think? Okay, good pill. Let's just... Uh, we can bomb for that money in there and maybe buy some more chips for ourselves, and then we'll move on down. But again, like, I, I, I cannot really say... Um, much about the entire situation because again i don't have that disease i don't know what it's like i don't know what it's like to be a stand-up comedian either because like i'm sure making jokes on the spot like that is very hard but there's got to be like better things you can draw from than somebody's physical appearance or ailments like it's just kind of weird to me we go for red right now what oh we're out of chips in that table damn we'll have to go for red next floor and get in the ultimate drop if we can that would be very very nice the HP is not looking super good, but we can definitely make up for that with the Snake Eyes reward. Very fun character, though, honestly. But aside from that at the Oscars, it's just it's a dumb event. I'll say it. Like, all of that shit there, the Oscars, American Idol, any kind of award show or, like, competition like that, it's always dumb. You could not pay me to give a shit about the Oscars. You couldn't. I mean, you know what one like best fan score or whatever was Zack Snyder's Justice League. What like what the hell? The movie was fine, but it wasn't like that good. It was when the Flash enters the Speed Force was the, the audience's choice for like hype moment or whatever. Really? Is anybody care about that movie? Like past like I know he has a huge cult following in, in the Snyderverse, but like genuinely, what? <laughs> it it wasn't even that like cool of a moment in the movie. And besides that, I mean there were some decent picks like i think a lot of the nominees were okay but the winners were always gonna be kind of shitty there hasn't really been a a agreed upon a proper i think oscar winner in a while because primarily uh oh that was scary nobody can really agree in the first place but i don't know like benedict cumberbatch was good in his role in that one dog movie i guess he was he was pretty funny uh little accent on him that's cool but I, I can't be bothered to care. I really can't because uh, it's either going to be one of two things. It's going to be like the just very average like blockbuster hit success where it's like, hey, here's fucking Infinity War winning again. Or it's going to be like some random thing I don't really care or haven't seen yet. And it's like, I, I, why do I care? I mean, th these directors winning these awards does not personally affect me. And... I don't have like any kind of attachment to any kind of media uh, in the movie scene that would really wow me if it won. We can go for, I think, two more reds for our maximum poker chip. I think it's two more in total. And then we're at max chips, but I can't, I, like, I, I don't care. And it's the same thing, too. Like, I'm a, I'm a big music guy, but I don't really care 
if an artist I like goes number one or not because, again, it doesn't really personally affect me at all. Now, it's cool to see your idols succeed, but... Okay, let's not put spike rocks there next time. Thank you. We'll go for this. We can maybe get... We're at max. We're at max. I'll pop it now. A tier is up. That was kind of lame to wait all that time for. I'll be completely real with you. What do you got for me, Scratch Ticket? All right, nothing. Cool. Uh, we, have, we have our tiers back, I guess, but it wasn't the greatest reward of all time. I was kind of hoping for, like, an item or, like, a bunch of runes to use, but that's all right. Ah, oh, hey. Oh, my God, you're fast. Hey, buddy. Nice to see you around. We can go back and pay for more chips, though, if we do, do want to. What's in here? We're going to roll this for sure. Gemini is kind of trash. The bone heart generator? Nah. I want a cool item. Okay, actually, extra money is not bad because we can buy chips for more, like... We can buy chips for more Snake Eye plays with that money. So you know what? I will be taking this this weird ass cane looking item, the blue streak. And we'll buy some more. We have three. Uh, I mean, the problem with this character for me right now is that like, I have to wait a long time to make any of this valuable. While the payoff can be good, it could also just be like, hey, here's a, here's a tears up. Here's like a damage up. It's not really, I think, worth waiting that long. So I think popping it at max orange or one red is going to be the best thing for you, if I had to guess. Watch out. Perfect. Um, but I guess any money drop will be nice. That, that'll be fine. We could go for an angel deal. If you wanted to sacrifice on this floor, which actually I might do, because we don't really have a lot of HP to give away uh, for a devil deal right now. I think we'll try for angel. I think we'll definitely try for angel. Watch out. You're a very weird looking enemy, aren't you? You're very strange. More coins. Uh, do I walk? I walk in. I walk in. Okay. Not my brightest movement. Um, what do you got for me in here? There we go. Oh, wow. Wonderful. A troll bomb. Epic, dude. We'll go over here. It was there. Huge. We'll walk in. HP? Uh... On use, converts all tiers in the room to Hopper? Like the enemy or the Stranger Things guy? That sounds kind of bad. I mean, I'm going to take it, though, I think. Eonin. So if we shoot... Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that's not very good. That's not very good at all. That's, like, actually really bad, if I must say. Although, it is kind of funny. I'll give it that. We're going to walk back here. I'm going to go to my shop and buy more chips for this character. I want to get some HP on the ground for uh, sacrificing for an angel deal on this floor. Oh, you're empty. Converts batteries into pickups. Interesting. Actually, it gets charged by me. You know what? That's not bad, because that's going to give us a bunch of extra drops, because we have a, a one charge active right now. So if we want to hmm, keep this always charged, we can use this baby back here to farm for batteries, like our, our extra charges for itself, and drop us some HP, some coins, some bombs, and anything in between. So you know what? Actually, dude, not that bad. I would like to see some more HP on the ground again. If we can get that one, like, super secret womb room, I would be ecstatic. It's not there. I'll go looking for it, though. Because th this sacrifice room could make or break the run. And I don't want to really do anything major without at least trying to sacrifice first. Now, there's always uh, a crawl space we can try. Okay. I'll do this. Blood bag? Nope. Uh, I don't care about you or you right now. Again, money is good. The pill could be good. It's all right. And then I guess you just look for your super secret and crawl spaces. Either one would be very, very good. And because we have Curse of Creation, we have a really good chance of just finding it by just breaking rocks open uh, over and over. Put a, like a bomb down there and just keep putting bombs down. And eventually you're going to get... Oh, what the fuck? Why am I... Why he orphaned? Why am I purple? 
What the fuck happened there? I don't I don't even know, dude. I have no idea. That, that was very scary. I thought I was dead for a minute. And I was like, oh, there goes the streak, guys. Sorry about that. Is it over all the way over here? No way. It is over here. All right. Upon entering a new floor, BFF. Oh, okay. That's not too bad either. Children's vitamins. Sure. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, and we don't have a crawl space anywhere? Is that what I'm hearing right now? I think the idea of going for the um, sacrifice is now a whole lot less valuable for us, which is kind of lame. I wanted to see what it could give us, but you know what? We can't all be winners, right? I'm going to bomb the skulls for HP and cards, though, first. That is still a good play to make. And they always they can respawn, too, and give us more drops. Wait a minute. Infinite loop of skulls for cards, maybe? Ah, uh, maybe? Nah, nothing. That's fine, dude. Don't waste everybody's time for too much longer. Just move on. All right, let's do it. Golden bombs for fighting our... Oh, jeez. It's eternal. Okay, you know what? Let's play it cool. Play it cool. You'll be fine. Your bombs are going to be... Oh, he's... Okay, two bombs and you die. Very nice. That's actually pretty good. Uh, it's stat up for being at low HP. And then you... Oh, that's obituary, isn't it? Yep. That's the Dark Judas? Okay. Interesting. We do want this. Do we want to become Dark Judas? I, I don't think we do. It kind of defeats the whole idea of playing as a modded character. Luck is good. Luck is very good. Uh, I think you skipped that. You could sacrifice now, but it would be way, way not worth it. Move on down. You're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. But I couldn't be bothered to care about the Oscars or any like, contest show. Oh, huge. Wait a minute. Before we banter. Uh, yeah. That's okay enough for me to want to take it. Okay. And, like, they're obviously usually somewhat staged to a degree. And uh, you kind of know what's going to be winning at these things anyways. Like... You're not surprised when, you know, Disney's 500th movie gets an Oscar. Like, you're not very surprised about that. What does kind of piss me off, though, is when, like, a movie will win, like, six awards for, like, best soundtrack, best leading actor, best all of this stuff. But then the director, like, wins nothing. Happened with Dune this year, which kind of pissed me off. Like, how is Dune going to win all these awards and then best director is just not given to them? I mean, like, the director made that movie. <laughs> he made everything happen there. Casting choices, like, all of that. How did he not get an award for it? It's ridiculous. It is. It, those, those shows exist just to piss you off more than to actually, like, give you a sense of, my favorite movie won. It's more just to piss you off, I feel like. Okay. Rough, rough cycles here. Thank you, little guy. That was dumb. Get your money back if you can. Okay. Hone in. I hate you. I hate you. Good. Beautiful. Okay, one hit's not too bad in a room like that. Now, how does this work on regular enemies? I guess we'll never know. How does this work on regular enemies? It does nothing? I guess that makes sense. Makes perfect sense. Now, the only reason I grabbed Guardian Angel there was for two reasons. Number one, Conjoined. I fucking love Conjoined. That's really good. And number two, because we can upgrade that uh, with the sewing machine in our shops. And that'll make an even stronger, uh, high-damaging, faster-firing guardian angel familiar which it shoots out sacred heart shots are very very powerful if we can make this thing shoot faster or have better range or better shot speed i am all for it that would make this one of the best familiars in the entire game speaking of one of the best familiars in the entire game we have uh one of my least favorites because it does jack shit it feels like get out of here it's not bad it's just like it could be way better i'm gonna start popping my snake eyes by the way i think more so in the orange because those small like like luck upgrades and, and maybe small tears ups and stuff like that is going to be much more valuable to me than waiting for like a slightly bigger tears up or like a random pedestal item i don't know it's gonna be better to use it i think more for smaller things and less for bigger things if that makes sense we can spend some money here though and once we hit orange 
Damn, okay, damn, that's actually fairly good. I guess orange is kind of the play to use, huh? And I'm gonna keep the filigree feather because we have a lot of bone hearts for uh, sacrificing HP and can maybe get some killer drops from the angels in those rooms. So that could be another way to win this run. This active item only works on our tiers, I think. Interesting. If we got 4.5 volt, this item would actually be fairly good so we could make infinite school bag charges maybe but right now it's not going to be doing a ton for us and you're going to die real quickly our familiar is actually very strong for what feels like almost zero reason yeah look at what he does a lot of damage more than i do he might have more like raw dps than i do as this character which is kind of sad to say to be honest with you no deal it's fine i'm gonna do a full clear for a maybe sacrifice room but aside from that i think we're good just to move on down Pretty tame run so far as the gambling character. Not all. Oh, wait a minute. Did we break? We did not break the spikes. We're fine. Woo! But very, very, very tame our uh, run for the gambling character. Oh, what is that foiled card? That better be like foiled hierophant or some shit for me. I, I would take a lover's card. I would. Uh, for a sacrifice room. Well, wasted a bomb right there. Oh, it's a golden card. Oh boy. Well, now we have that following us. Oh my god, okay. Fettered heart is good. Oh, okay, we got our Krampus fight. Please, oh god, drop me, um, not Krampus' head. Actually, it doesn't really matter, but that's fine too. I'll move on. Okay, we can take this, pop you again, and all of these are getting popped right now. These feet are very annoying, though, I have to say. They're very... Okay, you exist as well. Uh, Chaotic-ass room. Give me a second here. Get up. That was dumb. That was dumb on me. We have a regular High Priestess card for ourselves. Go up for a crawl space, maybe? Or not a crawl space. A, a sacrifice room, maybe? Nah, we're cool. These feet are very annoying, but at least we have the coming down mod for... Uh, Seeing stomps, what are you gonna be? Ooh, you're not worth my time at all, are you? I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave, man. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I'm not gonna leave. We're going back for the the, uh, the curse room. But I, when I was a kid, my mom would um, she was very into to American Idol. We watched it like every single week when it would come out, and you know, I gotta say, like as a just trash TV filler show, it's not that bad. It is more funny for the shock value of seeing bad singers try and sing, and it's less fun to watch good singers sing, but those early, like, like just audition episodes are very, very fun to watch. I only really care about the fuck-ups. Same thing with, like, MasterChef and things like that. I only really care about the, the fuck-ups. Oh, we're stompy. I don't know why. Uh, and we... Curse or no curse? No curse. Very, very nice. Um, and I, I don't know why, like, that's always more fun to me. I think it might be rooted in, like, just, just the idea of seeing someone who appears to be cocky just tank themselves on TV. That kind of idea uh, is satisfying for some reason. I don't know why. I'm kind of... I've realized in the past couple of years... What are you? Okay, that's the reverse fool. fool. We get full mapping and uh, a speed upgrade. Very, very nice. I've realized in the past couple of, like, months that... I just enjoy watching bad people fail. That's like my my idea of content. Like for example, um, when me and my girlfriend, we used to watch a lot of MasterChef. We didn't have like actual uh, a TV. We had just our Switch to watch on. We'd watch a lot of MasterChef on Hulu. And the only time I really like had an amazing time watching it was in the first like three parts when the uh, contestants were kind of like just trying out. And they would just fuck up every dish they made. Which, it was always so funny because it's like, man. Why do these guys think they can cook? Like, where does that idea for them come from? Please. What are you? Okay. Another blank rune. I kind of want to pay this guy out. Because he could drop a planetarium item, which would be kind of huge for us. So I'll, I'll keep trying. I'll keep trying. What you got for me? Okay, another rune. Oh, bad effect, bad effect. 
Another blank rune, huh? Okay. We're gonna get more money and come back. Because that could be, like, Terra for us. You never know. It could be a lot of good things. Goodbye, Lust. You tried your best. Damn, no virus. Another pretty fly, though, is good for defense. Uh, and aside from just those two shows, like, a, a lot of my friends and their families used to watch, like, X Games or uh, America's Got Talent is one of those other, like, notable ones. And all of those shows, to me, again, like, I don't care if this random-ass dude can do, a like, a standing front flip. I want to watch the guy who thinks he can do a backflip fall on his neck. That sounds really bad, but I think everybody kind of has the same idea. It's just trash American TV. It's why we love watching shows like Kitchen Nightmares so much. You watch these cocky and arrogant owners, like, fuck up a lot. And it's satisfying to watch someone come in and set these assholes straight. And while, again, I guarantee you a lot of, of, of that stuff is staged, it still makes for great entertainment. I'm not saying these shows are bad. I'm just simply saying that these shows uh, are really good at what they do. And that's given me some quality entertainment to watch. Can I get some more? I want to go in there with like 15 cents, I think. That's my idea of a payout. The word obituary is so good. It's like a, a weirder bloody lust to me. Or money is always nice as well. I talk about that a lot in the streak, though. But like the, the, the whole Gordon Ramsay kind of issue uh, where he's not actually like that good of a chef. Like he's a good chef, but he's not like as good as everybody says he is. But he's famous for kind of just being outspoken and kind of an asshole. Like, not many people know this, but his restaurant had uh, tons of allegations of mistreatment of workers, and he actually is one of the only people alive to ever lose a Michelin star, which that's pretty impressive. I'm not going to say he's a bad guy. He does good things for people, funding their businesses, things like that, but... He has had a really shady past. I'll just say that. Um, and But I think everybody does. I think everybody has a past like that. Although his is much more, because he's a public figure, a mu like much more public and, and a bit of an issue. So there's that for you. I still like watching Kitchen Nightmares. I mean, Amy's Baking Company is one of those that's always a classic to go back to and things like that. But I always can't help but notice, like, man, like, Gordon Ramsay isn't much better than these guys to mistreat their their staff. Is that good to have? Or do you want to try to blank rune? I'm going to take it. It's an increased planetarium chance for the next couple floors. And that is Empress. We're going to do this for another Alges into a blank rune. And we have a... Oh, not a game crash. Wow, surprising. We get uh, an Ansus, I think that was. We got a Bercano, which does not crash our game again. Thank you. I'll pop this now. I'm not going to worry about Empress. I'd rather have the Alges, I think. And then we'll move on down. Would have been great to have a uh, a blood machine in there for our multiple Alges pops and our amazing Red Heart health. But you can't all be a winner. They can't all be winners. Uh, but I never was one to watch uh, America's Got Talent. Um, that was always a show that my friends would watch. That I would kind of just sit by and, and observe. I don't really get that show. When I did try to watch it a couple months ago uh, at my aunt's place during like Thanksgiving, it seemed like everybody on there was either a dog trainer or like a singer. And at that point, why not just like, oh shit, what the hell? Why not just, uh, I don't know, like go on American Idol or like a, a dog training specific show? Because what I started to think watching it was like, these guys are good, but they're going on to a general talent show with a specific thing that is already kind of marketed as a different show. For example, if you're going on to America's Got Talent as a singer, but you're not going on to American Idol, I can only be led to believe that you're only mediocre at your task, and if you're put against anybody else doing the same thing as you, a la singing, you're going to pale in comparison. So the only reason you're going on to this show is because... You know that up against any actual singer, you would f crumble? Is that fair to say? It might not be fair to say. I think it is, though. It's the idea that... Soul heart? Good. Two soul hearts, huge. It's the idea of, of scarcity, making your talent seem a bit better. Okay, back it up. Get your red hearts back. Whereas, there's going to obviously be less singers on America's Got Talent than American Idol. So at that point... If there are already less singers, you have a higher chance to stand out. And I think the contestants know that. 
Because, again, these guys are always going to be more talented than me at whatever they're doing. But they're not, like, the best. Like, I've, I've seen better. I've seen better street performers than these guys. And that's what it kind of makes me question the authenticity of their talents. Which is just, like, why are you on this show when there is a specific niche that much better suits your idea of, of a talent somewhere else? I'm kind of just spitballing here, but it, that seems kind of weird to me. And I, there was a kid in my school uh, who did apply for American Idol, and this kid was one of the cockiest kids I've ever met in my entire life. Like, he was the kind of guy who, if you complimented him, be like, yeah, I know. Like, he wouldn't try to, like, be, oh, thank you so much. He was more of, like, I know I'm good. Like, leave me alone kind of guy. And he applied for American Idol. Now, this kid, uh, well, I'm not going to say his name, was turned down. He got to sing there, which was a very cool experience for him, I'm sure, but he was turned down, and they did not want to see him go further. Now, here's the funny thing, is that this kid also happened in my school to be gay, and he started a, a, a social media tirade against Stephen or Simon Cowell for being homophobic towards him, which is ridiculous. Like, <laughs> you didn't get turned down because you were gay. It's because you're not that great of a singer. Now, he has a pretty okay music career now. He actually has a couple of, of, of banger singles out on Spotify. But it was satisfying to watch this kid who was so cocky in all of high school and middle school get kind of kicked for, for being overconfident. And that's that same mentality with watching any of these shows, I feel like. Ah, no, 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 Polly, no, thank you. It, oh, you are huge. It's that same mentality. Oh my god, stop. So the Grief Feather is going to be huge here. Watch this. Amazing place. Crush him. Oh, it's Eternal Red? Dude, we've gotten so many Eternal bosses on this run already. We're not even on the freaking depths yet. Leave me alone. Careful. Don't do your light beam thing, please. I hate that attack. Uh-oh. Well. That was, an ins uh, that was almost a good dodge. Can you give me... Ooh. Holly likes, thank you. I'm gonna bomb for some more uh, soul hearts then, I guess. But like, it's just, it's insane to me uh, that people like that exist where they're so overconfident about their own ability that when it comes to actually showing it off in an environment around others who are actually good at that talent, they pale in comparison. And I think deep down, we all find that to be pretty satisfying. So I guess that's that. I mean, not much more to say there, just it's nice to watch cocky people fail and then grow from that. Because, you know, that kid ended up growing a lot from that experience. And now he has a pretty decent music career. Uh, well, I wouldn't call it, it's not like decent. It, it's really good for a small artist. She's got like, I don't know, maybe like 800 monthly listeners on Spotify. So it's not like insignificant, but it's not like superstar level, right? You don't, you don't expect that, though, going into, like, being a musician. Your first thought is not, I'm going to immediately blow. If, you're, if that's your first thought about blowing up, then you are a little bit cocky. You can't go into anything expecting to immediately become some superstar. There was this uh, podcast I watched. I, I believe it was the, uh, the critical one with Dream on it at one point. And... Uh, Dream had essentially gone on the podcast and was just talking to, to Critical and the boys and said something along the lines of, like, I always knew I was going to blow up. Like, I always had an idea I was going to blow up and become a big YouTuber, which no one likes hearing that. It, it just sounds arrogant, you know? Like, no, you didn't know that. You just kind of blindly walked into the fame. Oh, okay. I'll take Soul. Uh, Luna might have been the better choice there for tears ups and stuff, but I, I like the idea of going to the boss first, getting a big damage up, then walking back to the floor with like a strength card pop the entire time. That I think is a much cooler idea. Plus, it's like having a compass for just the boss fight. It is. And where do you want to? I'm gonna. I'm gonna take a wild stab. Yo, we're actually cracked today. Our first right guess in years. Let's do it. Laser beam. Wait, what? Oh. Laser beam! Oh my god, I'm hyped now. What's this? No, no, not again. 
Not again. Not again. Okay. Uh, we'll take Judas Soul. We'll take uh, the Filigree Feather once again. And I guess you just head on. Like, you have a... Yeah, your run has just immediately popped off uh, for the better. I'm going to save the Snake Eyes, I think. Because we don't really need it right now. And if we can get a really good maximum red reward... Oh, fuck. Ah, you asshat. Ooh. Oh, okay. This seems to be pretty good. Rapid fire laser. Oh, my God. Worms stat boost. How does this work, dude? I, I kind of want to keep the filigree feather for more sacrifice. We have a lot of HP for sacrificing. I, the golden rainbow worm is cool, but I think this might be better. That's a red nuts and orange. We can get a red here, though, fairly soon. I'll pop it down again. Okay, one more for a red, and we get five reds, and then we can pop our snake eyes and get a maximum reward. I'm hoping for an item. I'm hoping for uh, a damage up. Those are kind of my big wants right now. Any uh, crawl spacers in here? Anybody? No? All right, that's fine. That's cool. Not gonna complain. I mean, we just we had just one of the greatest runs of all time right now, it feels like. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I don't care for the secret rooms right now. I really don't. There's our crawl space. If nothing else, there's our fucking crawl space. Oh, we have a black market on this floor. I'm going to say go to your boss fight first and then come back out for your black market. You're su you're too slow. You're oh, you live. You're too slow, though. Fight your boss first. Oh, yeah. Dude, we shred. Holy shit. Another crawl space as well. Very nice. What do you have for me in here? Oh, it's Red King. Oh, it's Red King. That is one of my favorite modded items in the entire game. You know what, dude? Get the whole band here. We're conjoined. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're going to have a crazy ass run. So Red King is, I think, one of my all-time favorite new items in the entire game. It will spawn a crawl space after every boss you fight. And that will send you... Oh. I think you have to reroll here. That's very good. Uh, where, wait, what, what does this say? I, I want to read this out of my way, dude. You can pop the Hierophant card now, I guess. Uh, where it okay, stacked move out of the way where it ended. Okay, so you get a two speed up. After your run ends, three random items from your inventory are spawned on the floor where it ended. They can be collected in the next run by skidding to the same floor. Okay, uh, interesting. Again, I don't really think I care about that too much. The idea is cool, but at the end of your run... I don't know. I'll go for a lucky bomb. I'll do it. Well, there goes Red Stew. And these are all kind of trash. So, I think with your newfound amazing run, you just go down and take advantage of Red King, which will spawn a crawl space after your boss, which you can enter and fight another boss from the same pool, which will then give you a more options drop. You can pick between two items. It's, it's very good. It's very, very good. And you now get half a soul heart from popping every card you get because you have the manuscript now. So again, your HP is looking nice. Your DPS is amazing. 24 tier rate. Another, another crawl space? All right. Black market again? No. Just a really broken looking room. Um, we have one more room for snake eyes as well. I'm going to pop Ansus. Dude, no, no, like, we were getting no more sacrifice rooms, it feels like. We haven't had an actual sacrifice room in what feels like ages. Ooh, golden dollar. What does that do with a golden? I wonder. Okay, we're at, I'm going to pop snake eyes. Okay, it tears up. It's fine. <laughs> I, I wanted, again, something a little bit more impactful. That's okay. If you're going to wait for 15 rooms, I'd rather have the... Okay, sure. I, I'd rather have the reward be like 
even if it's kind of bad, something crazy. Like a jar of everything type reward, where it can just be like really buggy. I, I want the gamble to kind of be much more worth the squeeze. Now this money could be used for good things if we want to go buy some more chips. I wouldn't be opposed to that. We are at max speed as well on this run already, so that's pretty good. We'll give it all away now. How much more do you got for me? Two more? Ooh, another one? Another one? Dude, what? We're getting super lucky right now. I'm gonna bomb you, actually. For a nickel? Yup, two nickels. Dude, we are getting super lucky right now. What? Okay, a singular luck upgrade? Alright. It's fine. <laughs> Like, we can get these same stats from just being in the orange, I feel like. I don't have to go for red every single time. Oh, my God. Every single time. It's kind of wasting my own time, I think. Oh, he's broken. He's broken modemified. Nice uh, icon there for that, for real. Well, all you can do now is just uh, go to your boss fight, I guess. After spending six years on your basement, too, you can finally move on. What's in here? If only we had a sacrifice room, huh? If only. Let's do it. I wonder how this, this glitched item works with uh, our like super high laser tier rate. I wonder. It might just crash our game instantly. Ah! Where are you? Easy. Ain't no thing. Where's our red, where's our red king thing, huh? We do get one huge. I'm going to go... Let's go negative. We have so much HP to give away. Can we not go down here? On the this floor? I don't think we're able to go down after our mom fight. So it's going to be a, a mom's heart and a um, whatever boss we have this floor. Red King. That sucks. So how does this work? Oh, yeah, I spawned a lot of hoppers. That's great for a... Wait, hold on. Not a bad idea, because you can break them for huge obituary damage. Yo, okay. I'm not going to take... That, that's a death trap right there. Don't trust nine lives. You have no other guppy parts. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. So if you actually want to use the buggy item to spawn three million hoppers, you can then... Oh, we're so lucky. Ooh, even more money. You can then... um. Kill those all for a huge obituary bonus and have a 24 damage uh, or 24 tier rate, like 20 damage run going on. So, for example, you do this, you just fire 10.4. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You do it now. Yeah, I mean, look at that. You don't really need it, but it's still cool to see, I guess. Good luck upgrade as well, right there. I'll pop it. Oh, we got some trinkets Bone Penny, Bird Foot. I kind of want to keep the filigree sacrificing feather. If we ever see another goddamn sacrifice room on the entire run, I don't think will happen because we're not very lucky. We haven't seen like a sacrifice room. Oh, I'm giving you away. Bye bye. In a long time. Damage up but makes tier. I mean, that seems pretty good either way. Because now we have like damage and extra, a little bit like a variation there. Sounds fine. No sacrifice room. Uh, what did you expect, BD1P? To be treated fairly in this game? Absolutely not. Okay, I'll take that. Or next floor, I guess. The sun card might be a bit better, but that's all right. We'll just keep on going here. I mean, we can't really do much about that. Uh, we don't even have like a, a, a double key or, or bedroom on the floor either, which surprised me because sacrifice rooms only don't spawn uh, when you have a bedroom or a vault room. So what's preventing our sacrifice room from consistently spawning? We see like on average, oh, you're up. I couldn't even see you. On average, like one a run. And that's it. Why are we growing so big? No, no, no not again. Right. Like what, what's making us grow big every floor? I'm actually kind of curious. I know there's a, there's a trinket that does that, but I didn't know there was an item that also gives you growth. We're, we're pretty big now. And I can't really see a lot is going on 
Oh, what was that card back there? Uh, on the floor. Arrow walk? No, thank you. Got my money back. We're cool. What's that? Another golden card? Okay. Interesting. Um, we now have a restock machine in there. So if we can get an item to spawn out of either that... Where's my golden card? Out of either that um, machine in there? Or what? <laughs> Thank you. Um, we could maybe try to get like an R key and go for a double lap here. That wouldn't be a, a terrible idea. Did you miss an eternal heart back here? Really? How? It's like bright white. How did you miss that? Weird. Um, we could maybe get an R key or, or a death cert for like C-section, another fun modded item. The world's kind of your oyster right now, right? I want, I want angel. Give me angel. God, there's so many like things in the way right now. Oh. Oh, reverse chariot. Get me out of here. And we're done with that. Okay. Once this ends, we can permit and moon. We can play you for hopefully a drop here. Now it was not what I thought it was. No drop. All right. I'm not going to try and force it. I don't know what that means. Yeah, there's no way to get anything in this room, huh? I'll bomb this, I guess, for whatever I can drop. Yeah. And we, get, we can always pop our snake eyes in there for a chest, but again, I don't think it's going to be super worth it for us, to be honest with you. You're dead. When you pop up, you're dead. Yeah. Bye-bye. All right, Red King. Ooh. Random stat up every floor, plus HP. Say no more. Is that bloody gusty? Yup, huge. We'll take that. I mean, we can buy the quarter. We're kind of filthy rich right now. Nothing stopping us there. Range up is huge. And uh, Red King? Why can't we go into the Red King crawl space? Why is it a rock? What the fuck? I think Red King is broken. Because it's, it's acting like it's it's a movable object right now. What if we leave the room and come back in? It's gone. Well, we tried our hardest there, but it did not pan out. That's fine, I guess. We can't ha all be winners, right? Like I said earlier, six times already. Well, maybe this floor will be a bit different for Red King. I hope so, because to be honest with you, it's, it's a very fun item. It did cause me a soft lock once uh, on this streak, but bygones are bygones, man. You just realize these things sometimes. Wow, rules card. Everybody's favorite. Get me out of here. We're already at our boss fight. That, that was record time right there. Bye-bye, and you're gone. I'll bomb this open as well. Don't really need the fool card. Can't do anything with you, so walk in. Oh, yeah, you're, dude, there is no way you lose this run. You could be fighting the hardest thing in the game. You could be fighting Eternal Isaac, and you would still win. Thinking of Eternal Hard Boss is Eternal Mom's Hearts. We're too big to dodge anything consistently, so just be careful. There we go. Hitless Eternal Mom's Heart, might I add. No deal. We have negatives, so we're going down. All right. Oh, we have a, hold on. We have a sacrifice room on this floor. Ouch. Which we do want to take advantage of right now. So why don't we walk back there? Uh, we need to make sure we're still looking for HP. We don't want to be at too low of HP. But I am going to I am gonna gamble with a sacrifice room right here. Because in the spirit of the character, it's good to gamble. It's good to gamble. Huge. All right. What do you got for me in here? I'm hoping for a nice, sultry angel deal. Any black hearts? No, but we do have a... 
Reverse Tower card. It does nothing for us. Start sacrificing. Uh, let's pop this in that big L room in a minute down there. That'll be good for us. We're gonna get a big tears up here. You feel blessed is very nice. Again, that's a, that's a guaranteed angel, angel deal chance right now. If we get the angel deal. Which we did not get, actually, believe it or not. Nor the chance for one. But we do, what we do have, though, is the filigree feather for a guaranteed two angel items from the angel statues. So that's huge. We'll take the money. And the half heart, of course. Your HP is getting a little bit low, but I think you're going to be okay. You have, a once again, a four damage swing mode build. You're going to be just plenty okay. Okay, there we go. You go bye-bye now. Adios. Okay. Trash item. <laughs> That's fine, though. We can give it away. Uh, ooh, you love to see it. Hey, what do you give me, though? Is my real question. I don't know where that came from, but sure. I don't know what that does. I'll take it again. Sure. We're very, very large. We'll pop this in here. I don't really care. As long as we're gaining... Uh, Oh, crawl space? That was actually a great pop. As long as we're gaining the uh, half a soul heart there. I don't really mind. We already have um, small rocks. Not really a big deal. We have Virgo for more protection again. This round is just going great. And if we do get a sacrifice room next floor, I will probably just... I don't know. I'll probably just get the key pieces for Mega Satan in the dark room. And that'll be my goal. But uh, aside from that, I think we're pretty good here. We can just move on down. See, I had a whole, like, conversation planned for today about Scholastic Book Fair, but the Oscars kind of just, like, surprised me. Oh, HP and gas? Say no more. Don't need that. All right. Down you go. Show me a sacrifice room. Ah, eels. Pulled some straight eels there. No big deal. Again, we, we are not going to lose the run. No matter what the game gives or doesn't even give us, I'm going to probably end up buying, like, every single um, devil deal item next floor. Because, again, I mean, look at our HP. There is quite literally... What the fuck? There's two of you? I can't see shit. There's no reason not to. Goddamn mini bosses out here. My lord. I mean, you might as well. You might as well. I do want to go for as well if we can. Like, I, I, I do want to still fight Mega Satan on the run. There's some fighting going on in my apartment. I'm, that was super loud. I heard someone scream and yell, and then, like, a, a blow land. I'm going to keep it a little bit quiet. <laughs> I'm going to worry. It's time for, for ASMR beauty. So I don't get murdered by a random person in my apartment. We're going to go real quiet here. All right, guys. The Satan boss. It's a very tough boss. Bow down. Extra damage on the ball in there. I don't have a good ASMR whisper. I know I don't. I know I don't. I'm not a good whisperer. I had that that weird like lisp and that weird uh, speech impediment. It doesn't work well for ASMR. I hate to say it. I can go. I can go lower in my voice. I can talk like this for ASMR, and nobody can hear me in the outside world. It's just you and me now, chat. Just you and me. You have now shot a laser beam into Satan's legs. And we're going to go lie in a chest and uh, suffocate and die. How's that sound for ASMR? Let me know in the comments down below. All right, what do you got for me in here? I heard a really weird sound effect. Sure. Double deal? Oh. Wow, they're all bad. Oh, that one's really good. This one's huge. And this could be huge. But it's not, though. Okay. Is the darkroom floor still broken? No, the darkroom floor is actually fixed. Look at that. No more weird black and red uh, aura. What an amazing looking floor, though, might I say. All right, Snake Eyes, drop me an item here and we're at full red. That's what I want you to do. If I had to choose. <gasps> yes. We're going to get just insanely... Look at our damage. Wait, what the... Oh, because we have star... No, we, had... we have starvation, so now we have... Now we have... Uh, oh, 
dude, we are gonna we are gonna crush the hell. 120 tier rates? What? We shoot a straight line of lasers. I can't see what's happening. 120 tier rate. It's a really good number. That's insane. Oh, goodbye. Oh, you motherfucker. What the hell? Oh my god. And piercing shots. What the fuck? Multi baby? Brother, I have to look for sacred orb or no, uh, cracked orb now. Oh my god. This arena looks sick as hell, by the way. This is one of the prettiest things in the entire game. Void portal? I don't think so. No. I'm still just so in awe. <laughs> uh, that helps. Thanks, thanks, Zach. Thank you for that one. That's... I, I can't comprehend. What's happening? This free mushroom breaks, huh? Until we find magic mush? No, it's done now. Oh, no, that one's still there. I have to look for a way to open this mega Satan door. I have to find a way. Please, game. I, this run cannot end this early on. Look at that. If we find a way to get rock bottom with obituary on this run... Ah, uh, don't touch that, please. We are going to be even better off than we already are. How does this work? Didn't do anything. What? Some fast-ass laser beams. I must say myself, those are very, very quick. Do we kill things in an instant? That's key. Still good. Still really good. Really, no, you're not gonna give me a way to enter the Mega Satan door? I have my chance, but I use Filigree Feather instead. That's on me. That is entirely on me. I should have just gone for the key pieces. You should have gone for the head. Ooh. Decap attack? Nah. Don't need it. Do not need it. Break that. If we also find a crawl space, I'll give you some HP. Uh, that crawl space could be what gives us um, a, a way to the void. But in order for that to happen, we have to break some rocks open. Or, obviously, not well, a lot of harmful chests here. Oh my god. Now we can't lose. Um, or find an AWAS. Why are all these chests harmful? Even higher tier rate? We cannot break 120. 120 seems to be the very, very, very hard cap. Which is kind of sad. I wanted to go further with it. There was no we need to go deeper in this room. Sucks. It can spawn on here with, with these uh these patches of dirt. It's possible. This did not happen for us today. There is our another curse. We have Curse of Maze, and I believe we also have Curse of line now one of those we have a weird symbol next to our uh mine thing up there we just we just killed the fallen i've been seeing the fucking second form this is absurd i kind of want to just give myself you could actually you could be cracked orb like dad's key but we didn't really earn the mega satan fight so it's not really a, a good idea to cheat that badly minor cheating is okay that kind of cheating i won't stand by Last chance. Wait. Oh, it did not give us the weird bug. Right, tears up. Fantastic. We already used this? Yeah, it's, we already used that. Uh, we can look for our, our secret room, our super secret room. We could victory lap and find an R key and look for it that way, but like, that's too much. I don't want to put that kind of effort into it. I really don't. We're just going to go look for our other thing here. There's a beggar in here? No, just one of those. Why was there a beggar symbol on the map? Strange. This way? 
No. This way? No. I'm gonna go look for this, though. Because if there's any chance we can get a Mega Satan door or a crawl space in there, I have to take it. Reform? Crawl space. Do it. Come on, buddy. I will break you forever if I have to. You cannot harm me. Until you spawn me a crawl space? Oh my god, you left. <sighs> Again, you can't win them all. Now, our passive item from Mo from Modeling Clay uh, could end up being... It's not there either. Sacred or cracked orb, I mean. There it is. Um, in our Mega Satan room. A what? You want more money? I'll give you more money. Why not? I can give you more. You only give me wisps? You are lame. You are lame. Crawl space? <laughs> I'm trying my best here, chat. I really am. It does not seem like it is going to happen, though. And I guess that's the end of our run, then. If we can't go into the Mega Satan door, then we we can't go any further, correct? Yup. Not what I needed there. I'll buy all these for the fun of it, I guess. And uh, we're, we're leaving. We're leaving. Good run. I mean, we broke the tier cap to 120 on the last floor. So we have a 16 damage 120 run right there. Uh, that's pretty fucking insane. And aside from just that, we played a new character, had a good time with them, learned some new gambling techniques. Tomorrow, I'll be playing as, uh, I think, the new Edith character. And then we'll go and we'll play as Tainted Zack and Tainted Edith, and that'll be that. But with, aside from that, guys, if you enjoyed the run of my commentary, a like and a comment does go a long way for a small channel like mine. In the meantime, though, I have been BD1P. Peace out, and goodbye.